We know that the man is in the hospital trying to survive. Now police and community leaders are trying to track down the person who was behind the wheel. Chicago police are searching for a driver involved in a hit and run crash that left an elderly man in critical condition Saturday afternoon in South Chicago. And for unfortunate, this senior was struck and hit. I mean, you're speeding, you're trying to make a turn, you're not paying attention. Police release photos of a dark colored pickup truck they believe is connected to the crime. They describe the truck to have a possible silver colored lower trim, ladder rack, a black front metal grill, and a white circular sticker on the tailgate of the passenger side. According to CPD, the victim was crossing 87th Street near Commercial Avenue when the driver hit him. Video shared with WGN shows a horrific crash. We froze in the video right before the impact. This senior had to suffer at the negligence of this driver. Less than 24 hours after the accident. That 1-800 number had a senior get hit by a car last night. Community activist Andrew Holmes was in the neighborhood passing out flyers and trying to get answers from those who may have seen what happened. They said they heard about it. They noticed it's a senior and it's a shame. So they're hoping that someone turned the information over. Holmes not only devotes himself to fighting gun violence in the city, but also to finding suspects who take off after driving into a person. It became personal to him after his younger sister was hurt in a hit and run crash two years ago in Park Manor. They're dodging bullets, a projectile coming through a gun, striking uh, citizens, and now we have to dodge cars. They shouldn't have to dodge cars. Less than a week ago, a 71 year old man was killed in a hit and run in Bryant Park. CPD is still looking for that driver as well. But Holmes believes it won't be long until a suspect is caught in the South Chicago incident because pod cameras were in the area. Do the right thing, turn yourself in. Because at any given time, you may have lost a piece of something off of your car that's going to lead back to you, or you're captured on the surveillance footage. At this time, no one is in custody. Anyone with information on what happened or where the driver could be is asked to call police. Reporting at District 4 Police, Andrea Medina, WGN News.